Welcome to Affinity Photo. We're going to look at the use of the Displace filter. So what I'll do is go down here, select the Artistic Text tool, click drag to begin adding some text. I'm going to type the word safe. And so the object of this is to add some text to this area of the image here, but make it look like it was actually written onto the surface. So I'll select the text and I'm just going to go ahead and pick a font that I've earmarked for some kind of scrawled text. Then I also want to go into the character tab and perhaps increase the tracking just to separate the letters from each other. Okay, and then quickly I'll just position this text where I want it, rotate it slightly, like so, and then we can go ahead and look at making this text blend in. So to do this, with our text layer selected here, we want to go to Layer, Live Filter Layer, and we're going to add a Displace filter here. Now, making sure our background layer is beneath our text layer here, we want to click Load Map from Layers Beneath. And we'll see the shape of the text change slightly. What this has done is it's given the text a displacement map that has been created from the background pixel layer. So if we go ahead and increase the strength, we're increasing the strength of the displacement. And we'll stick to a value of around about 50 pixels. Then the next step to make this blend is to match the clarity of the text to the clarity of the background. So this is comparatively soft compared to this sharp text. So we'll select the text layer, then we'll go in and add a Gaussian blur filter. And we'll just drag the radius across until we start to match the softness. That will do. So then, the final step with this text is to set the blend mode to screen. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the same with some text underneath. Keeping to the same font and style. So once again, we can add a displace filter, use the same technique, click load map from layers beneath. Okay, if we have a closer look, we can increase the displace strength again. We'll perhaps use less strength than we had for the initial text. Then we'll go back, select the layer text here, and add another Gaussian blur filter. So zooming in to match the softness. We're actually using a small radius this time, smaller text. And finally, selecting the text layer again, we'll set the blend mode to screen. And as we can see, the text wraps nicely over the chain here. Perhaps we don't actually want that. So just to add a bit more texture to our composite text, we can go in and we can go to Layer, New Mask Layer, select the mask, activate the Paintbrush tool, and rather than use the brush we're given, we'll go into the Brushes panel up here, select a textured brush and then we'll just click drag over this chain to mask out the text. So now it looks like it was written underneath. If we go ahead just quickly and take the opacity down, we can also just add some random click drags on the mask just to 
add some more texture to the text. And if I go ahead and select the original text layer here, and I go ahead and add another mask to this text, just move this out of the way here, like so, I can then do the same to this mask layer. So we can just build up the texture by making it look more worn and less visible in places. Okay, so there's a good use for the displace filter. The great thing about being able to add it as a live filter as well is that you can move the text around and the displacement will actually update. So as we can see here, it's updated as I've moved the text over the chain here. We can go ahead and drag it back to more or less its original place. So when you're working with multiple composite layers and you're using multiple displace filters, by using live filters, you have that complete flexibility to move those layers around whenever you wish. If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask on the official Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.